That's a good one. Yep, that's nearly 300 right there. That's the most speed I've had in a long time. When you're feeling good, you just wanna swing faster and faster and faster. This is the kind of stuff I wish someone told me when I first started golfing. Love it. We're doing this wrong, we're doing this wrong, and we're doing that wrong. And we're gonna fix it up so you can get more of this with a lot less effort. All right, we're not gonna mess around. We're gonna get you fixed up real quick. Let's uh, subscribe to the channel and let's get to it. Thanks so much. The first thing we have to correct is just a simple setup situation. It comes from trying to get forward shaft lean with your driver. You do not want that. That ruins everything. You get that shaft coming forward with your driver, that club face is open. That ball is going out of bounds. So what people do is they, they get their hands forward, then they square that club face and you de-loft your driver. You have a nine, 10 degree driver. It's now like a four or five degree lofted club and you literally have zero chance to hit a good shot here. I scribbled that way to the left. Even shaffling with our irons gets us in a lot of trouble because again, that club face starts opening and you have to do stuff with your hands and wrists to square that face up and it shuts down, de-lofts the club. It's better with an iron because you're hitting down on the golf ball, not with your driver. When you get forward shaffling, everything goes bad. And you could see it. When you start pushing that shaft forward, that face just opens. And then if you have to manipulate it, you're de-lofting it. No good. So just get that face square and then just slide the whole thing up behind the ball. And that's where you grab it, right there. Wide stance, shoulder width, even wider than shoulder width apart. I'd just like to set the club and my belly, tilt, grab it here, push it out, you're good to go. This, no good. If you make a mistake, go too far back, not too far forward with your driver. Ball off your left ear, inside left knee, left heel, right around there is gonna be just fine. Now you have an opportunity to hit a good shot because your setup is good. The second huge mistake we're making is this. We're listening to all this advice about turning as we take our club back, rotating, right? Like turning the steering wheel. This is what you're doing. You're no, this is what happens. When you do this on the backswing, just, just do that and then grab your club and do, look what, that's not good. What this does is it, it rotates that face wide open and you get that club way inside at the same time. So you're rotating and getting it inside. This is no good. Then when you come in, if you're gonna come in correctly, you're gonna hit so far behind the ball. Bad things happen when you start rotating the club so much. But the thing about that is you actually wanna do that move, you just don't wanna do it first. Here's what I mean. Get yourself your impact bag. These are like 30 bucks, all right? You fill it with old clothes or something like that, like towels, things like that. Okay, we don't want to rotate like this. What we want to do is take it back pretty square with really no rotation here, up and here. And then at this point in our transition is when we rotate down here. So take it back here and you could feel the weight pulling you down like this. That's the move we want, is like that. Here's what it produces. It produces the club in a perfect position on the backswing, and then you get up here, and then you're shallowing the club out. Now I know what you're thinking, and you're right. When you do that, that club is gonna be wide open when you hit the ball. And you know what? You're not wrong. If you do that like that, this is probably what's gonna happen. So you're probably gonna hit this big high shot way off to the right. That is okay. And it's okay because we can correct this move on the downswing. We cannot correct this move on the backswing when we start like that. Here's how you do it. So you're practicing with your bag. You're practicing here and then dropping that down like this. You're practicing this, that's your move. And it's a great muscle memory workout. So if you start losing the ball way right, 
not a problem. You can just not do this part as much. But once you start here, you're dead on arrival. You can't fix that. You can't do this less. It's already done. But if you take it back, you can control how much of the shallowing out you do. So you can have a feeling where you shallow it out a ton or not at all. And then you'll be able to recreate that every single time. Here you go. So now I'm going to just shallow out a tiny bit. So you'll just have to play with how much of this you want. This is a game changer. Final phase of the pie. And for this, we're going to use our bag again. But notice this number right here, attack angle, four degrees. I'm hitting four degrees up with my driver. That's why I can swing at 105 miles an hour and get 290 and on the golf course many times over 300 yards. I'm not very big. I don't swing it that fast, but I know tons of people who swing at 115 and they hit it 270. And it's because of that angle of attack is destroying their entire long game. Here's what you're going to do. Take your impact bag. Just put it inside here, right about there. The reason you're hitting down on the ball, that's attack angle, chances are is because you whipped that club inside and you rotated the face open and you have nowhere to go in this position, but this way, up, up and down in the ball. And your club not only is coming down, it's coming way from the outside in. So if you do that, chances are it's gonna look something like this. Either that, or with a wide open club face going way right. And my attack angle was pretty bad. You can have a slight descending blow, but if it's more than a degree, ah, it's not gonna be good. Easiest way to fix that problem is right here. Get your impact bag, just put it a little bit inside. Take a little practice swing. If I come down on the ball, I'm gonna hit it. So I just want a visual aid here. Keep it out of the way at first, so you know, and all we're working on is hitting up on that ball. Your setup position will help. Your takeaway that we already worked on will help this. Everything we've done helps this. So if you're not getting this, then go back to the one of the other steps and fix that because that's probably stopping you from coming up on it. But now that we fixed that, now we can actually hit up on the golf ball. Good setup position like I did. We're not whipping that in. We're taking it here. See how much up we can hit on the ball. That one was eight degrees. Here's how you know if you're hitting down on the ball. If it's going way high in the air, you're probably hitting down on the ball. If it starts way left, you're probably hitting down on the ball. If it spins hard to the right, chances are you're hitting down on the ball. Notice my ball. It starts out to the right and then draws. That's a classic sign that you're hitting up on the golf ball. If, however, your ball is starting this way and fading, then you go back and do more of these. You'll start swinging faster. You'll have a good attack angle. You'll carry it a long way. It'll roll a long way. And you can do this at home, at the range, wherever you want. Thanks for watching. Good luck out there. Love you guys. See you soon.